we need to talk so um the background footage that you're going to see is just me just sitting down so if you wanted to just go ahead and leave the tab and just do something else and just listen into what i have to say then you can do so because i will not be adding like a lot of footage or any footage whatsoever um but yes i need to we need to talk essentially in regards to a lot of things uh, regarding the channel and changes that i want to do before you think of me if i'm quitting youtube no i am not quitting youtube and i am not quitting drove this is something that i've been thinking for a while i would probably say like half a year now at this point and it's actually it is going to be in regards to the channel and the type of video that i've been posting or rather the type of videos that i haven't been posting uh, because i've been just restricting myself in regards to the topics or videos that i've been posting you may or may not know i do have a second channel and in that channel one of my main objective is going to be to have fun and just be myself if you enjoy what i enjoy then so be it you can just join in into the channel i don't care if people enjoy or don't enjoy the type of editing that i do in the in those clips or what type of topic that i like to cover in the and again for the past couple of months or over half a year i've been just doing some experimentation with different types of video ideas on this channel and just to check the responses and if it makes any difference on anything but i just really hold up who cares why am i restricting myself into making videos just because of the response that i might Get. i was just thinking before i made the 2023 trove was just awful essentially that video and during the whole time that i was just sick with the flu because the commentary that i did on that video was prior to me getting sick so i made it before christmas and obviously i just edited while i was being sick but i just thought of that video and i just should go back and start posting topics and videos that i just want to do that was probably the first video that i normally like before i wouldn't post it. i just wanted to go ahead and sit down and record and just do something like i used to do before like i used to do before if i wanted to do a 30 kpr video and just ramble for like 30 minutes on a character so be it that's the type of thing that i personally enjoy and i have fun because you know that's just me and i just been thinking and i recorded a cosmic prime of the dragon the new effect that it got in troubles with titles since it was live commentary and in typical john fashion it, with like commentary the video is like over 20 something minutes before i would just grab the video all together and try to just write down a script and try to make it as concise as possible so everyone just gets the concise version of the whole video but the more i actually do check the analytics and yes i know i do check the analytics uh, most people just tend to watch very specific parts of the video and in a lot of cases those very specific part of videos are the part of the video that i just go off script and i just try to be you know i'm more of myself it made me realize why am i spending so much time trying to just be quote unquote professional if most of the individuals that actually watch the video end up only watching the other stuff that i post that is not the professional part of the video and it just made me realize like i'm just spending so much time for nothing in a lot of cases i'm just not having fun and that's the one that's one of the last things that you want as a content creator like if you are producing content all you want is to have fun and i wasn't having it uh, I was just mostly posting this stuff and just looking at the video and th then just looking at it back. It's like, oh, the video looks good. Like quality is good. Script writing, good for my standards. I'm not expert when it comes to like literature or anything, but good for my standard. Editing is good. Like the topic is concise. Like the video just feels complete, but it doesn't have a, like what I like to call it. It doesn't have a soul. It doesn't feel like I was having like a, a lot of fun. I decided to just be more myself and starting like around 2024 if i just post a video and if i just say some stupid i'm just going to leave it with like the troll 2023 just being awful the when i was just essentially just making fun of the the updates especially like the fluxion part like i was having a lot of fun with that with editing that portion i i enjoyed it and luckily that part of the video was the part that most people ended up watching <laughs> which I, I thought it was just like it just made me feel like like a lot better the feedback on the video is very very positive and i essentially just made both sides of the video like the 2023 portion with more of myself and just me if being criticized like criticizing something and just me making fun of the some of the decisions that are just straight up silly 
and the first portion of just me how I used to do the old style and I just realized like the difference between the two like most people end up watching the, the second part of me just being myself and that just made me feel a lot better and in just making like videos like this one where I'm just going to be just expressing myself a little bit more if I swear I swear so be it so I'm just going to be posting whatever the hell I want and if they're not up to quote-unquote standards then I at least I could just say that I just have fun with it if it is another game outside of Trove and I want to post it I'm just going to post it like normally I don't swear on the video because most of the videos doesn't require swearing and if I let a slip in that sounded wrong let me let me rephrase that like if I let out a sh that made it worse god damn it you, you know what i mean if, if i swear i swear whatever I, I i can edit i can just edit and just add some sound effects and just be woohoo funny haha -ha, sound effects just sounding like the quasso or something i don't know i i just need to stop restricting myself from posting stuff this is my youtube channel at the end of the day this is a channel that has been here since 2010 in february is going to get its 14 year anniversary i've been here on youtube for almost 14 years at this point i should just do whatever the hell i want and just roll with it the second channel really just made me realize all of that i just do stuff that i just think is just best for myself i don't know this just could be better for the channel or this could just backfire like crazy honestly it's just going to be either risk or stagnate uh, but uh, at the end of the day all i want to do is just have fun just post the content that i want if i want to do like a tier list i will just do it so be it there are plenty of people that are just putting tier lists out there they don't care why the hell should i even care <laughs> at the end of the day it's my type of video like it's the video that i want to post i just want to have fun with it i don't want to restrict myself you have no idea how many recordings i've actually deleted like so many it's kind of wild i really i deleted so many videos like a lot of videos and just because i'm just like it's not up to standard or if it is controversial or if it is this or if it is too rambly and at the end of the day it is bad for me personally because I, I just want to sit down record even if it doesn't have a lot of editing like some of my most watched videos barely have any editing. Actually, as a matter of fact, the majority of my 30k PR video only has an editing that I can do in like one hour. Like, I'm not even kidding. Why am I spending 20 to 30 hours on a video while half the time I'm just... It, it feels like I'm not having fun. Like, it doesn't feel good. I just want to enjoy my time. I just want to have fun. And at the end of the day I'm, that's just going to be what i'm going to be doing from now on uh if i just ramble and if i talk outside of the topic of the video so be it like i am not going to essentially just keep restricting myself because otherwise i'm just going to quit and just focus my time and attention on the second channel which i'm already doing what i'm going to be doing with this channel let's just have fun and so be it if i just post another game which i'm planning to just restart a play through a monster hunter world like a lot of people have just been playing monster hunter world i have been just playing monster hunter world from time to time and i just been wondering like i want to just go back and relive the whole story on uh, monster hunter world might as well just i want to stream it maybe I just share some of my experiences with everyone out there and maybe i just feel like posting other games like i i recorded well no i didn't record like i play like lego fortnite i played the fortnite rocket racing i play brawlhalla i played like other types of game rocket league i do play other stuff like, so even some of my friends have been just been saying like, why don't i just post like the stupid thing that we do whenever we do play like other games like w whenever we're playing like rocket league i'm like let me just tell you i'm laughing so much like i end up with like tears in my eyes like headaches screaming like crazy um normally for the most part like it's because like we just have a blast just messing around with the game that doesn't mean that i'm just going to sit back and just start recording any of those videos but if i actually decide to actually do it then i might just do it but uh so right now like i just don't want to be like oh yes i am the trove guy that does tutorials for certain characters Th that just doesn't feel good i don't want to be labeled as this one very specific thing uh, i don't want to be like oh yes i checked your build video you are the build guy the trove i like your this tutorial on trove it's like 
it just doesn't feel good like i like i don't mind when people just go ahead and just recognize me and just say oh yes i like their videos i like your tutorial this and that but at the end of the day i just don't want to be labeled as oh i do only very specific niche tutorials on a game that is stagnating like crazy and the developer doesn't care like at all about their player base i'm just going to straight out say it. they don't care about the player base and they just post essentially for the player base and we don't want that and me personally like i've been doing content creation regarding troll for the past five and a half years and i've seen the loss of interest in regards to many many people in with trove and i myself like sometimes i just don't even play the game because i've been essentially maxed out in terms of mastery i got absolutely nothing to do there's no exciting things to look forward to in regards to trove i'm just for the most part just preparing myself for future updates and like the game doesn't feel like very very fun to actually discover in certain things especially with the newer updates where the newer updates especially like i just mentioned in my 2023 trove video like the new updates were just bad all of those updates were just terrible and i didn't want to go ahead and just sit down and, and just say like oh yes the updates were just good yes marketplace 10 percent is not as bad as you may think no that's what that was terrible that was a terrible idea same with the gunslinger like gunslinger is just bad i know i've heard some people just saying oh yeah no the gunslinger can do damage yes the gunslinger can do damage but so is all, the, all of the other characters the gunslinger is supposed to be a boss killer the gunslinger is supposed to they shall high burst dps the character can they shall high burst dps sure but it is not good at the thing that it's supposed to be good at i didn't went as aggressively like when i did when i was just covering the gunslinger rework i just wanted to just mention it right here the gunslinger is just bad it's a bad class if you're comparing it to classes that are supposed to be a speed farmer if you're comparing it to shadow hunter let's just say something like that oh yes it can do higher dps than the shadow hunter so that's like comparing Pyrocatan with the Neon Ninja. Both characters are just completely different in their spectrum. Uh, Shadow Hunter is mainly a speed farming character and it is much easier to use. You don't need to build a specific build to just make it effective. Gunslinger, you need cooldown reduction. You need to have a very specific build just to dish out similar damage to the Shadow Hunter. And while being bad at dungeons, while the Shadow Hunter being the best dungeon grinder, that, those are just uh, essentially just some of the things that I, I wanted to just talk about like yes uh, of course the gunslinger can dish out damage but it's not that good but yeah most of those things like you can actually just say i normally just cut them uh, out of the video completely and i don't want to talk about them like most of the things that i just wanted to talk about is like i just restrict myself to like oh yes i'm going to be using numerical things even though i will still probably just argue and talking about numbers because obviously numbers don't lie the intro i also need to reiterate that i a lot of cases it's just personal preference i don't know that that's also another thing why i just decided to not put a put in a tier list not put in like other opinionated based video like i, I did my shadow hunter video and i was just like i yeah, might as well just post that video the candy barbarian video the videos did well like the shadow hunter did, video did really well uh, actually but i don't know why when i was just if you actually just watch the video it doesn't feel like i'm just essentially just giving my own personal opinion it just feels like i'm just doing an essay of just talking about the character like at the end of the day it's, it should be my own opinion even though i mean like, like i always made fun of this uh, opinions in the internet it, pretty much everyone just take it as quote-unquote facts <laughs> which is not the case when you hear someone's talking about a certain opinion it's their opinion it's based on their preference but people just go like, oh no you're talking about like uh it is not trash what the hell are you saying uh, uh i cancel you, you know that type of bullshit that you always always hear from everyone since uh, for the most part i just don't want to deal with any of that i just try to stray away from all of that but at the end of the day there's nothing you can do it's, it's, it's the internet there's nothing you can do about it and the reason I just mentioned that is because it has happened. I, again, I've been doing Trove content for five and a half years. Uh, it has happened uh, before people just not realizing about opinions or not even reading or just talking straight out of their ass and not even to paying attention. And now looking back at it, why am I just essentially just afraid of just those type of comments? At the end of the day, it's my opinion. They share their own opinion without their care in the world. Why should I just care of what they think if they don't care of what I think? you know so i don't know I, I just been thinking about this so long i can just ramble on and on uh, about so many more things like over the many years that i've done 
this and I just wanted essentially to post and be myself and if I stream I stream whatever and not restrict myself for, uh, from anything anymore because I that's one of the things that I've been doing I've just been restricting myself and that is not a good thing for a content creator and for anyone who wants to do like YouTube or recording or anything just have fun always always have fun the second channel just made me realize all of that uh the second channel i just wanted to have fun and it's been doing really really well uh, in actuality i don't want to talk about the numbers but if we're talking about the actual numbers in terms of uh, view counts and all of that despite having like what one ninth of the of the my whole channel video like I, I have over 720 videos on this channel in that second channel i have like 40 and it already eclipsed more than half a million views in total and this channel is only like at 1.2 million views despite being here for 13 almost 14 years with 700 plus videos the other channel has been doing really 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 well and it just made me realize that i just want to have fun um but anyways i'm just rambling here and there uh i might just go and start talking about certain other things a certain other topic like if i want to just go ahead and just sit down and just do a gameplay commentary of a character in truth i haven't done that in like forever by the way i I actually just recently just went back into the channel and I went into one of my videos where I just play mouse and keyboard on PC and that video did really really well and all I did was just using my new uh, my mouse and keyboard and just playing and just be just talking about certain topic it was just like the biggest just sit back and just relax and just talk about it and I haven't done those in like a while because I'm always thinking like people are not gonna watch it people don't care about it people don't care about uh, what I have to say, they only care about the information that I provide. And it's a terrible mentality to be in and I, I want to change that. So anyways, I can just go on and on and on. And But I feel you get the point right now. Thank you for listening. It doesn't mean I'm just going to be quitting YouTube. It doesn't mean I'm going to be quitting True. But I'm going to be changing stuff uh, around here. If I start posting stuff that some people may or may not enjoy, it, so be it. Because... A lot of the content, if I just restrict myself, I'm just not going to have fun and I, and I will end up quitting. All I want is just to have fun. That's my main objective. But with all that being said, thanks for watching.